Mr. Pigden, he wanted to teach. And he probably wanted to teach because he wanted to find a student that he could change their lives. And it was me. I was the guy. I can't even tell you. Sometimes I think about him literally every day. He gave me some self-worth. He made me feel like I was important. I remember when I met him again, it was, it was really strange. <laughs> Hello, Ian. Long time no see. Mr. Pigden. <laughs> You're alive. I'm alive, he says. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. Someone said you was dead. As you see, I'm very much in, and I'm so glad you've done so well with yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to say. God. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't know why I didn't tell Mr Pigden about what was happening at home, but just having his encouragement really helped. To see how schools are trying to support children who are having the same difficulties that I had, I've come back to the place where I first met Mr Pigden, my old primary school, Turnham Academy. How are you? Good to see you, OK? How are you? I'm very good. We're really lucky that we have an, an outstanding head of pastoral care, um, Mr Alexander, who, who really works with the children. Alexander, Ian Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, always Mr. Alexander. It's Anthony's first name. Look at Anthony's <laughs> smile, man. How could you be naughty when this guy smile, man? Great to meet you, Alex. Nice meet Absolutely you. pleasure, man. I'm so looking forward to speaking to you, man. You too. So, what is it you actually do, Andy? Um, so, the kids ask me that sometimes. I say, yeah. Alexander, what's your actual job? And I said, my job's just to make sure you guys are happy. But lots of circumstances mean that there are some things our kids don't get or can't get. and. I feel, feel like our job here, then, is to try and plug some of those gaps. Have you seen the difference? Yeah, definitely, and that's always a nice thing. We can't necessarily change the home situations, but what we can do is, while they're here, this is where we flood them with all of those positive things, all of those ideas that they can, you can achieve, you can do this, you can do that. I'm not going to change, and we're not going to change everyone just because we do fantastic stuff at school. But my hope is that they'll be able to look back and say, because of the help I've got here, that helped me to be able to do this. And that's the success. I might not get to see it in the next 10 years, but then 12 years down the line, I see them on the street and they're really happy and they're doing really well. And, you know, even the smile to see you again, be like, oh, Miss Alexander, you know, and they remember you and you're like, yeah, that, that alone for me is like, yeah, you remember My me. guy, you know, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> It's so important that we can try and reach kids that may be in these vulnerable environments. Catching the kids at a young age so they can deal with emotions so it doesn't fester, it's got to be a good thing. Not every school has an Anthony. I can see how important he is for the kids at Turnham, like Mr Pigden was for me. He passed away a few years ago now but we made sure he was never forgotten. In recognition of Sidney Charles Pigden for his dedicated service to the Lewisham community, World War II Spitfire pilot, teacher at Turnham School, Secretary Lewisham Primary Schools, Football Association, and sports coach and mentor. See, he'd be proud of me how I read that. He's a great man. <laughs>